the people of this nation need land. The first thing that God gave Adam was not a woman, but land. And the first thing God told Adam to dominate was not a woman, but land. And the first command God gave Adam was to manage real estate. He says, cultivate this garden, develop this garden. And the first command God gave the man was, be fruitful. He did not say, be seedful. Why? Because God already provided the seed. What did Adam lose? When Adam mismanaged that property and gave it over to an unemployed cherub, <laughs> When he committed treason before God and he disappointed God, what did God do? The first thing God did was kick him out of the real estate. And then to show you how important land is to God, the Bible says, and then God put a cherubim with a sword to protect the property from the man. If this nation is going to re be rebuilt, and if you're going to restore the dream and the aspirations of the graveyard of the people that are buried all over this country, 1.6 million people who have not been allowed to dream and pursue their dream, if you're going to see those dreams come to pass, then my first advice is you must reclaim land. I want to challenge the government of this great country. To seek out legislation, ask God for wisdom to develop policy so that there will be a balance brought back to the nation and fairness and justice in regards to land. A nation is not just people. Read your Bible. God told Moses, these people are slaves, Moses, but I'm going to create a nation out of them. Now when God creates nation, it works. So you got to follow his pattern. The first thing he says is, I will make you a nation. Then the second thing he says is, there's a land. There's no nation without land. No matter how much freedom you give me, I need land. No matter what rights you give me, I need land. Don't give me policies. I need land. I can't develop if I don't have land. I can't manifest if I can't have land. I want to be productive, but I need land. It's unfair for me to control the land that God made for people to be productive in if I don't develop it myself. Namibia could be healed, but it has to begin first of all in the spirit and then in the mind. I want to come back to Namibia for years and years working with my friends here until we all come into the full statue of the image of Christ until we see Christ in each other and we stand together as Namibians against the world saying we are one we are one we are one in the Lord Jesus